Hi, welcome to the Cozy Club Kitchen. It's been a while since I've had a little visit with you all. And well, I've... absence makes the heart grow fond, as we all know that. <laughs> yes, that's very true. <laughs> but um, I thought I would do one now, and you might think that we're going to do a recipe, but we're not. Um, last time we were together, we, we showed you the garden, or I think I was doing a wreath, and the garden looked bare, and, and the um, hydrangeas haven't been cut back yet. And now the garden has been transformed. Nature's worked it mag its magic and it's beautiful. So we're going to take a little walk. And, and Chris Myers has worked her magic too. Yeah, he's very sweet to say that. But anyway, so follow me. Come on, let's go for a walk in my garden. It's a gorgeous sunny day today. And we're here on our, um, our terrace where we love to have breakfast. And um, this you may remember from um, last year, I did the apple. You know, I went up with the sticker on. I don't know if you remember watching that one. And I'm going to be doing that again. Of course, the little apples are a bit, well, actually, look at them. They're getting into it. Yeah, yeah. Bigger. But the, the but, rose and the apple tree are in love. Yes, this rose is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. But I'm going to be putting stickers on there again, but it's a bit too early yet. So that might remind you guys to do the same thing. It's so pretty in the fall to get your little um, parts or whatever kind of sticker you put on there. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's go along around the side. I hope I don't fall this time. That's Almost did there. <laughs> Hollyhocks that sell seed next to the old shed. Yeah, and they, they destroy the pathway. No, they're perfect. So I can't go so through in a hurry. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you, you know, can you just pan yeah. there? I decided to do the no mo may thing that Monty Don suggested we do. And the too soon June. Yes, and then it went on to June, and it's probably <laughs> going to go on to July. So what can we rhyme with July? <laughs> ladies, we invite you, ladies and gentlemen, we invite you both, or all of you, <laughs> to uh, let us know what rhymes with uh, uh, July. Well, I'm sure that someone will come up with it. <laughs> but I normally, had a me or I normally have a meadow in the middle, but now it's all as if it's one big meadow. But what I did do is um, mow a path so that you don't have to go through the... Um, the long grasses and also then no one will kill my daisies which was very important <laughs> because I love how they've just popped up these poor little things have been dying to grow for years and they never have and now they are and they're just so stunning so anyway I've got my one little path here which goes up to the crooked workshop yeah now we're going to do follow the yellow brick road whenever we walk around the garden <laughs> and this used to be are we going to pop in here why not my kitchen garden when the kids were little we we did uh, this to protect all the veggies but since we go to the, um, Canada to visit family um, the vegetables would suffer so I've r literally made it into roses and flowers and everything which is really beautiful um, so anyway come on through here so much work involved here like guys well, all the hours Chris has spent joyful work. well I've made a few cups of tea along the way and watched yes, a bit of yeah. cricket showing which is going to give me a big thrill but it's very pretty and, and what about my days. door and your door yes the famous is the famous door yes, stairway door. to heaven yes beautiful door <laughs> but you can't really see inside that um we found or you all found as a skip which is wonderful can't close it properly now but anyway <laughs> so so that's that and we continue on the path here. And I just have plenty of uh, hydrangeas, roses, lavender, nigella. I self-seeded it, it's, I've seeded it and it's self-seeded now um, this year, which is wonderful. And the, um, ladies mantle, foxglove. Wait, 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 you're being a bit quick there. I want you to get these roses here. Okay. And the washing. Yeah, the washing. Important. Well, you know. All the whites and the sunshine, yes. <laughs> So what did you say about these flowers here? Oh no, I just said I've just got a mixture of, of um, roses and daisies and um, uh, geraniums and foxgloves all through here. And this is the, our, our uh, barbecue area, our, our fire pit. Oh, we extended this. No, we didn't extend it. We well, just moved, I just moved the, um, the fire pit over a bit. That's right, because uh, yeah. a couple of people got a few sparks. Yes, uh, so it was a bit close to seating area, so, so we just yeah, moved it. That's right. These are the ones that come in the fall, beautiful um, apples, non-edible these ones are, but they're beautiful for decorating. 
and it's just it's a lovely spot because it's it's shaded and um, it's gorgeous and then back do you see the the, the purple rose it's a uh -huh. it's a rambler it's rambling all the way up that tree I'm ah oh, it's just so beautiful Beautiful. okay and um, just so you know this garden was not a um, just done instantly it, it sort of grew as as our family grew actually initially we had a cricket um, Net and yeah, run -off net. area in the middle, which is why we did this fence to, to sort of protect my my flowers. And so, of course, the kids would play here all the time. And then, and now that they've left, we've we've added our little touches. But all the the beds and everything are just um, plants that I would get, you know, whenever you find a plant at a grocery store or something. It wasn't planned to plant that plant; it just happened. I loved the plant and I planted it. And um, all the long plant. A's in the Canadian accent: plant, plant, plant. You know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I need a new video photographer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you call it. Um, anyway, it's um, yeah. So it, it, what I'm saying is, you don't have to, you know, have a big plan. It can just happen as as you go along, which is quite nice. And we've moved this table out in the middle of underneath Ooh. this wonderful tree, which um, gives a lot of shade, and I love it. And we and we, if, if it's going to rain, because it is a um, an old pine table, and you don't, I don't want to wreck it. So at the bottom, we put those. Um, what are they called? Uh, protectors, like protectors, like plastic type area. protectors. Put under furniture in, in the house so it doesn't scratch a floor. Yeah. So that protects the legs from damage. One of the few bits of plastic around we have. Well, that's probably the only thing. Yeah. I think you probably have to think of something non toxic Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And then I do cover it up uh, if, if there's going to be rain. If they... Let me see if I can get a close up. It's... No, I don't think mm, I can see it. See it. It's so important no. to do this. Yeah. yeah, there we are. So you don't, you don't, so you don't get the water yeah. because a lot of these tables have deteriorated through the years, and they have to be cut down on the legs because mm -hmm. the legs are rotten yeah. with moisture. But it, so it's, it's lovely important. to have it here, especially in the shade, because if you out there, it's way too hot to eat. Here, it's just perfect. So that's that. And now that's that. Now look at the, the rhododendrons. I oh, yeah, to show them around house. the Peter Pan house, which is very pretty. Yeah, and that I think I mentioned in the. Some, some long time ago that I was waiting for the geraniums to start blossoming with the rhododendron. That, that rhododendron is gone now, but the geraniums are starting to blossom. That one's still going, so it's still, still really sweet. Very sweet. So here is the beginnings of the meadow, which now... This is the original meadow. Yeah, it, it sort of went from <laughs> here down, and now it's sort of, with, with me not cutting the lawn, it's, um, it all looks like a meadow, and I, I really, really, really love it. I don't think I'm ever going to do this, cut the lawn, the whole lawn. You're going to have to cut sometime. Again. Well, in the fall, I do, <laughs> when, you, when you're supposed to, but not now. And the birds, I have to say, there are so many more insects and birds that are, that are visiting. Yeah, see. Birds. So it definitely is, is worth it. So here we go through the little apple orchard. Are you going to show them your rose going laterally, Chris? The one you've uh, trained. Can I just move yeah. to the right? Yeah. A little bit. It's just going crazy, and I've, I've taken a long pieces of it. Mm -hmm. and it goes right trained, behind and through. Trained it along here so that it goes along the, the table, which is just so beautiful. This is for Cecily because it's all pink. How cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, and it's look just, at these ones budding here. They're going to delight yeah, the eye in a week or two. Opens. Oh, love it. And here again are my nigella. And all these hollyhocks have self-seeded as well, and they just, they love it, obviously, where they're, they are. Normally, they say hollyhocks. Can these nigella cook as well? Hmm? Can these nigella cook, just like the real nigella? The uh, famous cook. Yes, I, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Anyway, and here are my Christmas trees again. I've talked to you about those again. And I think this one might be the one that's coming in this year for Christmas. It's a lovely size, and he's got a good shape. I don't know, maybe I'll see. We'll see. I just want to show you the bicycle shed lock chosen by you know who because of the you know who on it. Coming? Yeah, I'll be there. Okay, now this is a new um, lovely acquisition. I mentioned it on my Instagram. My cold frame that I got from um, a friend of mine who no longer wanted to, to use it and it needed a little bit of tender loving care and luckily I have someone who does such things and Neil fixed it all up and um, I've got, I painted it 
the same pigeon as the house, so but just a quick brushing so it's, you still see the age of it. And I think it's perfect, and it fits here so perfectly. It's a lovely color. And then I've got the little butler sink that we've had for a while, and I'm just filling it with, with herbs. So that's great. And to water it, I've got my water butt here, which works perfectly. And so I've got water, I've got everything I need. And that has the chain coming down. Yeah, the chain coming from the so you don't have the ugly down pipe. I've mentioned that before. It's brilliant. It works perfectly. Even if it touches the vine, it still goes through mm -hmm. with inertia yeah. and into the butt. Okay. And here we are at the porch. And there's the welcome cozy club sign. Yeah. And so here we are at the porch where I sit here in, the, in well, both sit here in the um, early evening. It's lovely. It's shady. And we can see the world go by. Oh, hydrangeas are spectacular. Now this this bunting, I don't know if you can see this, I've just cut um, um, two triangles and then made one little um, pocket for the, for the um, string to go through. So there's no hemming or anything involved. Very quick, quick and easy. So, Very rural. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, and the fact that there's two, these when they go in the in the uh, wind, it's really pretty. So here we are now at the front garden. So again, I've done um, the no mow may for the front garden, but I have just um, cut a tiny bit along the edge uh, here by by my newly planted um, lavender hedge. And um, because otherwise it was getting so high, you couldn't actually see the hedge, the lavender. And I thought that was a bit of a shame. So it looks like it's coming so well. And I know, you know, they say you're not supposed to plant lavender when it's cool. I mean, when it's still cold and the, and the soil is, is um, cool. But I did anyway. And um, oh, yeah, funny, I'm not saying much about this. Huh? I'm not saying I'm not saying much about that because well, I'm just saying it, does, it, didn't, it didn't seem to hurt it. Well, my very clever mom said to me once, if you've got nothing clever to say, then shut up. I'm not a horticulturist. <laughs> yeah. and probably never will be. Well, I've tried. Anyway. Chris makes up for it in spades, yeah. it, to coin a phrase. <laughs> so anyway, these have all just popped up as well, the, the um, oxide daisies amongst the roses and the pita. And the pita is one of my favorite uh, plants as well because they look, they last for ages in the Yeah. Well, the other name is catnip, correct? Yes, that's, that's right. right. Well done. <laughs> ah, that I know. Yeah. And, then, and then my little nod to Nova Scotia. I've got a lupin growing here, and I'm so happy it's done well. Because sometimes they don't, they don't, but this one is doing really well. So that's great. In Nova Scotia, they grow wild. Can you imagine? It's stunning. And then I have my, my fiery rose here. This is called a Mortimer Sackler. It has very few... Um, Named after flowers. a great friend of mine in South Africa. Well, Mortimer, yes. <laughs> For today, I just thought it would be fun to have you here and show you everything and welcome you back to the garden. And hopefully, we'll have another visit soon. We've got one more thing I wanted to show oh, you because I think it's really interesting. Okay, a I've been trying to grow something around this arch. Forever, oh, that's right, and it's just now taking off and it's making me very happy. But the other thing is this, Can get the picture here? and this is in an old sap bucket that was made into a bucket. And, and Explain I, sap bucket, Chris, well, to our you know, um, non-North European friends. When you collect maple syrup from trees. They and, you actually um, attach it to the tree and the tree saps. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's, it's delicious. It's for maple syrup. That's why maple syrup is so expensive. It takes ages to make. Mm -hmm, it does. But um, anyway, I, I have this bucket and I've put it against this. And I these um, campanula come out at the grocery stores in um, well. About a month ago, I suppose. And years ago, I'm, not, I'm talking years, I just plopped one in here just because it was pretty. I took it out of its pot and put it in. I didn't put any soil, I didn't do anything. And this comes back every single year. I give it some water. Uh, occasionally I give it a bit of fertilizer, but not a whole lot. But it just comes back. It's the mm -hmm. most amazing plant, so it's, you should try it. Let that. me go through the arch and you come this way. It's just so pretty.
There you go. Yeah. There you go. So, one day I hope I can welcome you into the garden and show you myself. But for now, this will do. And it was lovely having a visit with you again. Bye for now.